we are back at our local goodwill not the one down the street from our house but still our local goodwill one of the better ones that we uh actually thrift at we're gonna go in here and see if we can find something to flip online for a profit man check this thing out definitely vintage hanes tag the hanes are a limited i don't have a thing on it though key west original that's a pretty cool little hoodie i mean a uh, pullover that's pretty nice what else they got here Virginia Tech. So this thing's really cool. This is actually a music box. Like once you pick it up, it starts working, which is kind of, it's that little button right there. So it works and it's a de de decanter, but the thing is it's missing on the top. It still goes for like 30 bucks. Uh, if it had the top, if they want three dollars for it. We're not going to buy it just because it's not complete. But some of them actually go for like forty bucks. So it all depends on which one you find. But that's pretty neat. When I picked it up, I didn't know what was going on with it. Casino calculator. Look at this thing. Hmm. These are brand new Hollister stuff. There's one right there. There's another brand new Hollister. Hollister was forty bucks. We'll ask Kayla about these. Oh, these are always good. This is a salute to service Nike. Actually, I'm not seeing where it says Nike in there. Oh, I'm going to say that that thing is fake. What do you think about these? Brand new Hollister? Yeah. I mean, it would be like four bucks here, so I'm thinking that that's an easy, or size small. And look. Is that new? It looks dingy, don't I think that's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> it is. Yeah. How much do you think it was MSRP? I'm going to say 45. I'm going to say 55. 50 bucks. We will take it. Oh, no. I hate when that happens. <laughs> then you got a oh, white Sierra, negative Ghost Rider. Yeah. I'll put it back. Wasn't even worth the, uh, the headache of getting it. We're never first to the racks. Hollister? Yeah, man. Is brand it? New I don't know about that. Is it old? That actually looks like an old tag. Yeah, any type of brand new clothing we'll go ahead and get. That's why it's always good for two people to look at the racks. So I actually looked at this one pretty good. So I picked up these blue rain boot uggs manufactured in the usa they're in pretty good condition i can clean them up and it looks like they go for like 29.97 like 30 dollars pre-owned so I'm definitely gonna pick these up we did leave these behind because right here kayla does notice that it is missing a button but as she said these stated they were made in america made in the united states and I looked it up and I didn't see any where the real ones were actually made in the USA. Tell us down below, are these fake? So at the last second, Kayla pulled out, what did you find right here? I'm talking like it was the ninth inning on the second swing. You're about ready to strike out and you found a pair of sunglasses. They're called Bolli, B-O-L-L-E. And I saw Italy right here which made me think that these would be worth some money. So Julian looked them up and you said they go for how much? Like uh, 15 to 20 bucks. Some of them actually go, if they're brand new, over like $100. So pretty cool little brand there. Everything we just bought only cost 20 bucks. So, I mean, not like a whole bunch of great Hollister stuff, but I mean, Hollister still sells. It's brand spanking right. new. So we're thinking we probably get like, I don't know, 15 bucks plus shipping. So all of the Hollister stuff will be profit so that's not too bad and then you got yourself a Def Leppard shirt because you're going to a 90s party that isn't the actual original one we would sell that one but that's just a remake I'm, I'm running naked in here right now you don't have your phone I don't have my phone oh, <laughs> running naked in the goodwill no phone hey you might want to look this up antimicrobial heavy duty I'm serious this is like a uh, how can it be antimicrobial doesn't that mean like it won't get um bacteria the antibacterial that's a good name though it's a uh, heavy duty hole puncher punches up to 130 sheets or 20 pound bind bro 
rip. That's a lot. Who's got that much stuff they're trying to punch holes in? It's something like this. This heavy duty is more like a commercial thing. There it is, 50 bucks. That one only went for 14. Give me some screenshots of those. Oh, that one's 160 That's page. That's just the the bottom. The bottom. Does this one have the bottom? Uh, no. We actually have this too. Boom. 59.99 for five dollars. Yeah, any type of big heavy duty stuff usually goes pretty good. Oh, they'll have to go get a buggy. Yeah. Because it weighs one. about 65 pounds. Hey, there's a toilet seat. Is this new? You know how much toilet seats are nowadays? This is a used toilet seat. I, that's ridiculous. I don't I draw my lines at uh at used toilet seats. I should get this. Plants my are my soul mate. That's a, that's your soil mate though. Soil mate. Soul mate. Oh soul mate. That plants are my soul mate. <laughs> Fifteen. Whoa, check the monkeys out. Look at this thing. Dude, that is a neat lamp. Isn't it? It's a nice lamp. I think I'm gonna get the tree. Get the tree. What did you get here? I bought a plant. A fake plant. It is fake. At least it doesn't. Is this your soulmate? No. <laughs> so I found these Timberland boots. And they're in pretty good condition. The soles are very good on them as well. It looks like there hasn't been any that's sold, but there's one listed for 55. I'm gonna go ahead and get these. Y'all ever put something in your cart and like everywhere you go, everybody comments on that one item in their cart. They're like, hey, that's really, really cool. That was this plant right here. Caleb put this in the cart. And ever since then, people were like, that's a really nice plant. And plants nowadays, if you go to like any place, it's super expensive for plants for some reason. This one was only $15.99. It is fake, but it looks super, super real. So that is pretty good for 16 bucks. Also, that right there is gonna be worth like 45 to 50 bucks. It's a big old hole puncher. And then she got a lampshade. We had a lamp sitting in a closet for a really long time. And I mean, lampshades at the Goodwill are only $2. All right, got a whole bunch of toaster ovens here. This one's 20 bucks. The thing is, is that it looks like it's brand spanking new. It's almost like you gotta take the whole thing, take the whole thing out to make sure it's new. Because these sold open box, they want 20 bucks for it. Thing is, these things have a sold comp like way up there, well over 100. One actually sold for like 300 dollars. It is the Black and Decker Toast R Oven Classic. Might be a good buy for 20 bucks. I think it'll sell over 100. All right, I'm gonna drop this thing. Muncie waffle grill. The only reason I would pick this thing up is because she is brand spanking new. This has never made a waffle at all. On these, it's easy to find if they've been used or just super clean. It's just remove this grate somehow. Mm -hmm. Just remove it just like this. Yep. You just pop this off of here and oh, there it goes. Look at the inside of there. Brand spanking new. I'm thinking this is gonna be a pickup for eight bucks. I think we can probably sell it for 30. And it comes with the multi-use grill thing. That's not too bad. Now that, my friend, is a good find. They got it for five bucks, but still a brand new Epic Flash Callaway head cover. Easy $20. I mean, it's a brand new. You can just wear on the inside of these. Yep, she's new. Dang, dang. I saw old Colonel Sanders here. Uniform shirts are actually always a good pickup if they're in good condition. This one looks like it's in really good condition and it's a uniform shirt size large. And it looks like here they're gonna go for, uh, it's gonna be $4.89 to pick this up. And it looks like it's gonna go for like 16 bucks plus shipping. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but easy to ship, easy to list. We'll make six to seven bucks on this, no problem. It looks like it's a very fast seller. That's another reason why I'll pick it up. So that, usually uniform shirts always sell pretty good. We always sell a lot of Starbucks stuff to uniform shirts. So we were talking about going here at one o'clock rather than nine. Big mistake. The only difference is, is they uh, still aren't putting new stuff out. And there's only about, I don't know, what, 42,000 people in there? Well, because it's hot holiday weekend. Yeah, I'm just saying that we were just chatting. Everybody's in town. Everybody's in town. We everybody were wants to go to Goodwill. Everybody wants to go to Goodwill. Beautiful day. Nobody's at the beach. Everybody's at Goodwill. But you did end up finding a master's hat. It's just got to be cleaned up a little bit. But this one has the 
leather strap on the back of it from American Needle and they go for what like 30 all the way up to $50 so if it has that tag in it that's a pretty good score you said you can that is not like uh, stained it's just like discolored we'll yeah. probably be able to you know clean that up a little bit so yeah. that's not a terrible day of thrifting I mean not a terrible day of thrifting here we got a I think that's an expensive black and decker we got things that hole punches stuff we got a plant plant I mean, and it's a plant that never dies. It's a plant that keeps on giving. Doesn't get any taller though. But I think all in all, not a bad day. We weren't out a lot. We're actually in and out of thrift stores very quickly. So we'll take it. So remember, if you're not subscribed, you would subscribe. Comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always get you on the next one.